That was very, very, very stressful. So let's take a look at how that went. So Model 3s are amazing, but there's a very, very limited number of colors that come with these beautiful cars. This one is a midnight metallic silver, but that is about to change. So if you like metallic, and you like matte and you like green, this video is gonna be perfect for you because this is a matte metallic pine green. Look at this. It kind of reminds me of the original Model S when they used to come in the green colors. So this is going to be not falling on the ground. It's gonna be all over the car. It's gonna look so sick. So we're gonna do each panels first starting off with our mirror caps. Now, there's a few different ways we can do this. Um, number one would be to remove the mirror cap and do it with the mirror cap off. We're not gonna do that. We're just going to tuck it around right here. We can also do this in one piece or two pieces. One piece will be where we go over the entire mirror cap. Two pieces is where we go this side in one piece and then down here in one piece. So we're gonna do the two piece version, right? Okay, so we're doing the two-piece version just because we are not pros. So if for PPF or wraps, you want to make sure the area that you are PPF or wrapping is clean. That's super important. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of dust particles. 50-50 alcohol water. You don't want dust particles underneath your wrap. Take 50-50, 50% alcohol, 50% water, put it in a bottle just like this. Use a microfiber towel that's super important and go and clean around the edges. And if your wrap is directional, make sure you pay attention to the arrows because that can completely change if you have like a color shifting wrap or a wrap with some design on it. Now, if you mess up, it's okay. We did and it's better if you mess up on a small part than a bigger part so if you're doing this for the first time like we are start with the less important parts like the mirror basically there's like a, a thing on the inside of it right and so as soon as you want to take off take it off you basically tear it and it pulls and tears the wrap without you needing to cut it it literally cuts it with the tape that's the string on the inside oh look at that that's what we're going to be using to remove the wrap or to remove the part of the wrap that we're doing because this is a two-piece design so once we found a big enough sheet we're gonna cut it down a little bit more to size not too much though because you still want a little bit of excess to work with like how we have here but you don't need a giant sheet if you're not going to use all of it after you remove 3m backing of course be careful with it because it's going to be sticky just apply it to the surface area and then from there we'll use a squeegee to stick it down to the panel in this case it's our mirror cap if you get any fingers like how we have right there all you got to do is heat it up for just a second only a second if you do anything more you'll burn a hole through the wrap and you don't want to do that you can see the wrap kind of bending over a little bit that's just because it's heated and it'll help us get rid of some of these fingers that we have right here when we're going over an edge or when you're at the edge since we're using knifeless tape make sure you go over that as well that way when we peel it off it'll cut a nice fine line so you can see the knifeless tape right here our fingers are past this which is fine because we're going to cut all of this off in a second if you're going to do it all in one piece obviously it would matter but again since we are going to be cutting it right here and then putting another piece of wrap on this side, it doesn't matter for us. Now comes the fun part. Great, what's the fun part? Apparently now is the fun part. Oh, the fun part is where we start cutting. Be very careful, don't give yourself too much blade, otherwise you're gonna scratch the paint on your car. You don't want to do that, that'd be really bad. So instead, what you're going to have to do is give yourself a little bit. Make sure you leave a little bit of excess on the wrap itself though, because you need to tuck it underneath the edge to give it that seamless look. You're like Fold it backward, pinch it, and pull. Got it. Oh, let's say you get the floss out. Floss out through the middle. That's the key. Okay, Yay. there you go. All right, you can see our flossless tape really working. So you need to pull out that white little plastic in the middle, and you want to make sure it cuts through the middle going up the wrap, and you can see super fine line that it's cut in our wrap. Cutting off the excess at the back, we can start peeling off this side. That is clean. That is a really nice line. Except you just peel it out. All right, we have a little bit too much on the bottom. So carefully, if you do have a little bit of excess, take your knife, cut a little bit of it off. Because if you fold it and there's too much, it's not gonna hold properly. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the back where we have to slice off this excess, but you want it to leave a little bit left over. That way you can wrap it around the edge of the mirror cap right here. This is actually our second time doing it. The first time we didn't leave any excess left over and it just did not look right. So you can see how much left over we have right here. That's all gonna get tucked for our seamless look. This is a great place to mention the heat gun. So whenever you're using vinyl wraps, heat guns are a great tool. They can fix any kind of fingers that you have, not just on the edges, but the size and everything. It's perfect. The only thing is you don't wanna leave the heat gun on too long. Otherwise you risk damaging your wrap. And I mean, 
burning a hole through your app. We'll just use our tuck tool now once the fingers are all pulled out and we can push it underneath the edge. So on the edges of those tucking tools, be super careful because the edges are sharp and you might cut your wrap and you don't wanna do that. Whenever you're wrapping PPF or vinyl, super attention to detail. All right, so you can see that we have a lot of excess right there. So we're going to cut just a little bit off. Be super careful again, because we're not taking the mirror off. We don't want to scratch anything and we don't want to cut away too much. Cutting away just enough will allow us to use our edge tools and then just press it in between the two plastics. Quickly just fixing a little dimple we have in the wrap and folding it right over. That is not too bad. What do you think of the wrap? If you like it, leave a comment below. If you don't like it, also leave a comment below. Okay, so yeah, pay attention to direction since our directional film, we started it pointing this side. It's pointing that way. It needs to flow around. So now the arrows should be pointing this way for us. Basically the whole car is going clockwise motion because we discovered that the roll itself, the width is not big enough to just do face up on the hood. So therefore you need to go sideways. Oh no, if you don't have enough knifeless tape. What we could try to do if you're feeling up for it is you could knifeless tape part of it, ra uh, peel that off the rest. and then freehand the rest. No, I want it clean because this one going over so it's the time that i've been waiting for and it's to finish the mirror cap that we started it's so easy that they finished it before i even started filming much wow much wow so you're basically just gonna wrap and strap a piece of vinyl to this right here and you're gonna pull it and you're gonna shape it we have excess on that far side we have excess on this side and excess down here we're gonna cut a bunch of the excess away and that'll make it a bit easier for when we need to be more precise to cut it to have it fold over the mirror caps all right we have another one of them floss tapes up in there boom oh that is nice Ooh. and then you just pull out that tape and you're just gonna press down the wrap while he does outside the underneath of it is going to be something like this this is the fish uh, this is the floss tape we'll call it the floss tape floss tape is gonna go along here and then down the back just laying it flat, squeezing it down. The mirrors are pretty forgiving. Once we have it around on this side, we're going to use that fish tape and make a nice clean cut. We're then gonna fold down the edges here on the side and on the top as well. Why? Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Hello. All right, so Anon just finished this mirror and it looks really, really good. It's tucked to perfection, I would say. All right, we're out Chrissy's side, so he's just gonna be wrapping it around. Pretty much just like we've done the other side. There's not oh. enough at the bottom though, so he had to pull it up and reseat it just a little bit. And that is much better. Oh, those are not enough space. You're gonna need another piece. Check this out. It is mold and hold. And to see what we do with that mold and hold, check out the full video in the description below or check out the other parts that are on the channel if you don't want to watch this whole thing. But the whole thing is super funny. I'd recommend you go check it out.